So in this video, I will show you how you can use custom tools to manage a configuration specific drawing. So first I'm going to uh, create a weldment body. And at this point we don't know yet that we want to add different configuration. Okay, so first we'll have the first uh, configuration that will be uh, 90. And then I will add my weldment to that sketch. So here we have now the weldment. Now I can define the property used to save that weldment and also uh, link the dimension. So I can select the document properties here. And then I can select the different rules used to save the document. So here we can see also the drawing name is the same as, will be the same as the file name. I can select a description. And then here we'll select no, as at this point we don't have any other configuration. So I can also select the material. And now I can also quickly insert the dimensions. The dimensions are linked to the sketch, which means that if they are updated in the sketch, it will also be updated into the custom properties. So the document is now saved, so let's create a drawing. So I will insert the standard review. Okay, and then if I zoom, we can see here that we have the uh, drawing number as we had generated it. And here we have also the drawing name. Okay. So now the drawing is uh, saved and we are going to... I will show you that also we are able to save the drawing in a different folder than where the parts are saved. So with custom tools it does not really matter where your parts and drawings are saved. The documents are always uh, linked. So now we will add the new configuration. So I will add two new configurations. So let's add the first one. So the 150, 150 millimeters. And this L50 will be associated now to my drawing name as well. So now let's add the second configuration, the L200 and 200 millimeters. Okay, so now let's select the second configuration and we will create a drawing for that configuration. So before that, I will go to the properties and define the properties specifically for the configuration. So now if I modify the configuration specific drawing, we can see that the name of the configuration has been associated to the drawing file name. In addition, the uh, properties were automatically, the dimensions were automatically updated. So now I will save the properties for the two new created configuration. And I will create a new drawing. Okay, so I will insert the standard review. Okay, so here we can see that we still have the uh, part name, but when I save the document, Custom Tools offers me automatically to save it also with the configuration name inserted. And also the drawing number inside the drawing will be updated once the document is saved. So now let's do the same thing for the third configuration, the L200. So as we can see here, the drawing name is automatically generated already and the dimensions are correctly linked. So let's create a drawing. So I insert the standard review. And now I will save the document. So as we can see, we also have the L200 configuration name associated with the drawing name. I just save the documents 
and the drawing number is properly updated. Now if I need to open a specific drawing, I can use the uh, custom open drawing to open the drawings of the specific configuration. So here we can see the three drawings made for that uh, weightment. And for example, if I want to open the, uh, let's say, the default configuration, I can just select it and open the default configuration drawing.